All right, so we're in Meet Manager, and we have to create a new meet. Creating a new meet from scratch is a major pain, and it doesn't happen very often. So <clears throat> I have a generic meet here. You can see it's labeled up here, Generic Meet 2016. There's no teams. Um, there are events. All the events are set up for our, our conference, uh, the Country Club Conference. Um, the scoring is all set up for you, so you won't you won't have to change any of the scoring. Um, it is set to score two individual and two relays per event. Print labels for the top six kids. Everything's all set here. So um, this will come to you. I, I will I will create a backup of this meet and I will send it to you. Um, that backup, and let me just do this real fast. That that backup is going to be a file. Um, that you will have emailed to you. And once you get that backup, it'll be on your desktop um, right here. It'll say Swim Meet Manager 6 Backup Generic Meet 2016. Okay, so now you have that backup. And so you go into your Meet Manager and you are going to restore. All right, that's what you're going to be doing. File, restore. Um, you're going to choose this option here, unzip, copy database, you're going to choose that option. You're going to rename this database to whatever your meet is, Windstone versus uh, Inverness, let's just say. All right, so you click that option, click to rename it. You're going to restore that meet, and there it is right there. You're going to open it up, copy it to Meet Manager 6 folder, keep clicking OK. And so now I have this meet right here, Windstone versus Inverness. At this point, I can add teams. So I'm going to add uh, the Windstone team. Uh, I'm going to add the Inverness team. And the Inverness. All right, so I have my teams added. Uh, I'm going to bring in their lineups by importing. I'm going to import entries. So hopefully the coach sends me an entry file. If I made my lineup using Team Manager, I would then export that to my desktop and import that to entries. So I bring in all the entries, and then I'm, I'm ready to run the meet um, on meet day. All right? So that, that'll be another video on how to run the meet. But that's, that's how you set up the new meet. Now, from this point, once I have this meet set up, and it's run and it's done, then I'm good. Okay, so I got this Windstone versus Inverness meet. So now I have another meet next week. Well, how do I do this? Well, what I'm going to do from this point forward is I'm going to save as. So let's say my next meet is against Boulder Ridge. I'm going to choose save as, and I'm going to save this meet as Windstone versus Boulder Ridge. And I'm going to click open. And so now you see I have a new file called Windstone versus Boulder Ridge. Um, at this point, I have to purge all the stuff that's already in there. So there's there's a bunch of teams and entries and relays and all that stuff that's in there from the Inverness meet. So I'm going to go under uh, File, Purge, and I'm going to remove data selectively. Very, very important here. You do not purge the events. All right? The events stay. You're only going to purge the teams, the athletes, the uh, relays, and entries. That's the only thing that you purge. And then you hit click OK. It says it's not reversible. You say OK. And now you're going to go in and, and change the meet name to whatever you want to change it to. So maybe this is now Windstone, uh, Windstone versus Boulder Ridge. You know, I should have said this before, and I didn't. You're, you're going to have to, when you import that generic meet, you're going to have to go in and change some of this stuff here under meet setup. You know, you would change it to whatever you want to change it, change the dates and so on and so forth. Okay, so I change all this stuff. This is going to be at Boulder Ridge. <clears throat> um, enter the, ad, uh, the facility address or the city, change the date, and you got yourself a brand new meet. And, and there you go. That's it.